everyone. Welcome to the first special episode of City Talk Podcast. We're <laughs> recording it in the morning after a shooting video with Mark Rober, and we're all very tired. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the energy we're supposed to bring to yeah. I think so. Absolutely. We asked Mark to appear again, and he said, oh, I already was on the podcast. Yeah. Trash. And, and, yeah, spit on us. <laughs> and we, we, tried to, we tried to tell him that people can actually be on this multiple times. And, and he that he's vomiting. Yeah, that he kind of just, like, like, turned his head and looked away from us as if he didn't hear it. <laughs> So I'm Mark Grover. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mark. <laughs> he was like, I was your most viewed podcast, right? And we're like, no. <laughs> it's my call. <laughs> Is it? Actually, I, don't know. I think in my, uh, I don't know. It, I, if, I, if, if someone put a gun in my head, I'd say Michael. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or Michael. Yeah, or Nigel. Or uh, other Nigel. <laughs> Two yeah. Nigels. Sad. Like Sad podcast yeah. sounds. <laughs> uh, I, I, I keep seeing people keep commenting that we don't introduce the guests. <laughs> so um, that means we're just going to keep moving on. We're, I'm not giving them <laughs> right on. on. This, this, is, a, this is another failed <laughs> Mythbuster episode. I'm Mark Rober. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think I really like this failed Mythbuster theme. It's like yeah. there's, it's a train that I want to stay no, on. Tamara's not failed though. I'm Tamara, not failed. Tamara's I got, not a failed. Did you win on the search? I was no, the... she also lost, but she lost after I lost. So she oh, made it one more step. Slightly past less me. failed than yeah. that. I mean, and I'm also the... MythBusters Junior. But I'm all, I'm Junior. the only two MVP winners. So by contest rules, I'm actually the only winner of MythBusters dessert. So <laughs> are you are you, a, are you a MythBuster right now? Uh, no one is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, welcome guess, guess another <laughs> failed Mythbusters <laughs> of the podcast. Mythbusters yes. itself could be failed. Failed Mythbusters. <laughs> Mythbusters failed. I think Alan's, Alan's a good failed Mythbuster. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I, you were I, the first. Well, uh, because. To point it. You like it's it doesn't make sense to not Wait, say no, I'm a I failed Mythbuster. I, I think I called you a failed Mythbuster. <laughs> that, that was Will coined it, and I was like, yeah, no, that's accurate. I yeah, like it. I'm right with that. Because like you can't say you're a Mythbuster. Yeah. And you don't want to say I used to be a Mythbuster. A failed Mythbuster gives you everything you could possibly want. Failed Mythbuster, it takes so much like pressure off. <laughs> Cause it's like like it just it lets you do like anything right because it's True. like what are the expectations from like a myth buster it's like oh adam savage is gonna come show up and he's gonna do a really cool thing it's like what are your expectations of a failed myth buster like i don't know like if he shows up that'll be a miracle <laughs> no adam savage hates us yeah. <laughs> gonna he, sh he up. showed up with a snake with legs. <laughs> he brought, he brought, elementary. He brought a snake with legs. I think that the real failure would actually being a successful Mythbuster mm -hmm. because I don't think you want that. Then there's you can only go down from there. I mean, like TV. Imagine right now, like TV is like sort of. <laughs> I don't wait. Say who, dead. Do you know who who won the show? Yeah, yeah. John Lung and, and Brian, Brian Loudon. Loudon. Would you but, say they're winning right now as Mythbusters? Well, they're if, not Mythbusters. If, <laughs> anyone, yeah. Season, yeah. if anyone who's watching this can immediately like imagine what someone named Brian Loudon looks like then yeah I guess he did pretty good but if not then that means he disappeared he fucking I became dust in the wind I would also coin them failed mythbusters <laughs> <laughs> it's not your guys' fault it's the show's dead yeah. they didn't even get that's to finish the out their fault. first that's like the executive's no, fault we, you know? which meant yeah. we Could didn't get to finish out but we got paid for not finishing out the first season oh uh, right we had uh the we pay, pay or play pay or play, pay or play. So they, they what they didn't call it, it in the tv world and yeah. we just got free money <laughs> i have a question for you guys did you even get to watch your own show I not the last three episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah. which, uh, which one? Uh, the 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 first season of like the reboot MythBusters with John and Brian. They had me and Tamara back on as like like guest guest MythBusters. Yeah. yeah. Um. But like the everyone hated the show so much <laughs> that they never finished airing it. So there's uh, the last three episodes of the season never aired on TV. Yeah. I think maybe you can find it on streaming now. But uh, we actually, were both we were both never... in the last. It actually no. They, they just, no. They no actually, our episodes aired. I have them on my YouTube. Well, they they I think they stream, but they never went on TV. Oh yeah, no, the, they the never TV went on show TV. never actually. The how, last three episodes went on TV. How bad does it have to be for them to not even air it? I think like, that's insane. It was actually um, because of the scripts merger. 
The what merger? They like so they merge D- Discovery like merged with Scripps at that point, which What's was like Scripps? it was like a big digital. Scripps it was their way media. to finally get into digital oh, better. Oh my god, um, Scripps is like a, they do like news. They have like news channels or something yeah. like that. They're like a big <clears throat> di- like I don't know content mm. thing. Did, yeah, just, and so because they knew the digital world, they like merge. But that like during that merger, so much stuff fell apart and fell away. Like I mean, because oh, even because like. <laughs> I did I did side jinx with Johnny Galecki and you know it it we were the number three show every week and we still got cut too and it was just because the merger basically the number went three and cut show everything. I don't think have I ever heard of that or no you did something wait did you do something I tried to get him to be my co-host I what was I, the basketball thing I consulted for side jinx that was yeah. the magnet basketball <clears throat> yeah so oh my god this is wait, this how is, long ago is this this was a couple of years I, 2017 I don't, did we, a did, while ago did we sign any NDAs it doesn't fucking matter no you can talk about uh, everything all right so uh Johnny Galecki is the fucking the main nerd on Big Bang Theory the one that's not Sheldon oh, oh this is uh the, the glasses Chase guy Christmas vacation son yeah, yeah. So, that's what I know yeah, yeah no it is <laughs> which I just figured that out the other day I was like holy crap that's Johnny Galecki <laughs> yeah, so he was like the 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 like main face of Psy Jinx. Mm-hmm. And um because it was like Big Bang Theory related, they had access to the guy who writes the science jokes. I mean, quote unquote jokes. They have a laugh track, but it's like they're not funny. Um, right? <laughs> Thank they you. Laugh Somebody out. said it. You laugh now. They had that guy come onto the show as their science consultant for real life. And so my job was to take his ideas. And then tell their crew how to like build it out. It wasn't to tell the crew <clears throat> if it was feasible or not. It was because it was, it. It yeah. they were like, we've got the science guy from Big Bang Theory. He's got these really great ideas. Like, how do we build He's these? He's also a UCLA professor. He's, yeah. Like, he took me to oh. see well, all this, like the colliders and stuff. And I was like, I don't know. What I think that might have been part of the problem because <laughs> the list they sent me, the, the, the guy mentioned, he was like, oh, yeah, like these, this is a list of ideas that me and a group of grad students came up with together the grad students came i think it was them. the grad students because um it was just the worst fucking ideas <laughs> <laughs> like so and the one that you're referring to the one i told you about which is like the funniest <laughs> one it was it was the they were like okay what if we make the rim of a basketball hoop like the hoop itself like a coil of wire so it's an electromagnet and then we put metal in the basketball and we make it so that the person shooting the basketball never misses like because the hoop will always attract the and ball everyone with it. a pacemaker in a quarter power <laughs> yeah. and like, I, was, I looked at that and they were like they're like they're like okay what do we need to do this it's like you like, like actually need everything you need to be god you need an mri yeah because <laughs> like i I, tr- I i i couldn't even i didn't know where to even start and so it's kind of like I was like, well, all right. The first problem is everything. <laughs> like, like I, I try, I tried to make. I was like, I was like, well, like you would need a lot of power, and I think it, it's an it's an impossible amount of power um, that you would need to put through the coil to attract the ball. And they're like, well, like you know, could we do it? And I was like, like we're the film industry, we could do anything. <laughs> they they're like, no, uh-huh. yeah. And so I, I kind of, I was like. I was like, before you even get to the point you would need, the the rim is going to melt. Like it's going, if you, whatever wire it's made out of is going to heat up and melt. Like I was trying to give them like a yeah. physical limitation, right, right, not right. just like a, yeah. like the physics Well, we'll just itself. like make the wire bigger. I think <laughs> at this at this point, I like would, I would see that and I would give so little shits. I would just say like, you, 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 you can't do that. You, you actually can't do that. Yeah. Like you're stupid. At the, the, the list too, as it went on, the ideas got sort of like less and less thought out. <laughs> And so at the end, it was like two pages. At the end of the page, one of them was just a single bullet point, and it was like "priest float in church?" Question mark. What? <laughs> it was "priest float See, in church." We never saw question. the priest we float in church. We literally just got like the day of whatever they were doing, and half the time it wasn't actually working. And I'd be like, okay, like give me 10 minutes to fix this and stop paying people that don't know what they're doing. I like mean, I, on Mythbusters, we get to build it. Just let me build it. You guys are wasting so much money I told on them consultants. How to, I told them how to do everything. So if, if they didn't follow my instructions, I'm sure that's, <laughs> that's what went wrong. <laughs> did, did you work on the, um, the iodine clock with the... No. No. Yeah, no, that guy so, like so oversaturated that it wouldn't. Go, he's like, he's like, yeah, you just have to slide of hand two gallons of this to get it to neutralize. And we're like, you realize that this is a prank show, and we have seconds to sneak this in. Like, they, I was like, I, I'm gonna let me balance this equation, and we'll be fine. So I think the issue was that like um, 
a lot of the the I I gave them what I thought were some pretty solid prank ideas on how to do them. And then they almost didn't do any of them because they quickly realized that they would need an actual team of builders to do this stuff. Yeah. And so it ended up being more like science themed pranks rather than like science based pranks. Yes. Um, sure. so I mean, I thought, this sounds like the Mark Rober show almost. Yeah. Oh, yeah almost, no, they called it? me and, and they yeah. were like, hey, do you want to um, do you want to come and be on the show? I was like, that sounds a lot like Sijinx that yeah. we did last year. And they're like. Oh yeah, you were on that. Uh, we'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I one there was one that I thought was like a really good balance of like possibility and prank, and they didn't do it. Um, so this one you can have this one. This is this is one that was supposed to happen. A oh. bicycle, but a piece of rebar skewers up to the yeah, seat. Yeah, straight up your <laughs> butt out your, your bike. skull. So it that, was that's why I don't like to bike. It hurts your butt every time. <laughs> it was it's it was a uh like like you hire some like like contractor to paint a wall. It's just a brick wall and they have to paint it. Um, but the wall you build with like uh, heating elements going through the bricks and you give them a thermochromic paint. And so it's like, you tell them like, it's very important that's this color of paint because like we need it for an event that's like yeah. on brand. And then they paint it. And then once they come and show you that the job is done, you turn it's on the heat color. and then uh -huh. the color changes uh -huh. and it gets all yeah. blotchy. And you're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> I told you like, this is a, the brand color has to be a specific color. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, like that guy that. would that's be having a panic attack. That would be amazing. I would feel afraid this person's actually gonna have like, <laughs> An episode, uh, yeah. <laughs> like well, a they like they go ch check themselves in or something. Yeah. <laughs> that that is the thing. Like like some of the people really freaked out. Like there was one guy. Like we did this episode where we were using drones to drop pizzas, and you got hired as a temp to come in and like take care. You know, assist the drone operator for the day. And the drone operator and er, ends up telling you that he's smuggling ferrets, which I also didn't know were illegal in Why California. Would, oh wait, <laughs> yeah, I remember. No, they're the, yeah, yeah, so they're smuggling with the drones ferrets, <laughs> and so he's like, "Hey, don't, he's From like, don't where? tell anyone about this one." And like the drones flying, and there's a ferret, and then all of a sudden there's a park ranger, and, and it gets like really kind of crazy, and the park ranger comes like running in. And this one guy just, he started like, he was like a wild animal trapped in the room. He was trying to open every window, every door. He's like, I gotta get out of here. I get out of here. I, I'm not I'm not going to jail for some white kid that's doing crazy shit. Like I I made sure my life was good. I gotta get out of here. Wait, like, some he like some war, some war, some just so bad. Just some other person on set. It, no, it was the guy that we were pranking. Yeah, so mouth. we would hire them as temp workers at these companies oh. and the company would be doing whatever the prank was. And so he he like found out <laughs> that the you know my co-host was smuggling these Oh, that these was the ferrets. prank is that he yeah. was smuggling oh, ferrets. Oh my God. And That's he, like designed. That's the fucked up part too. Is you know how they find the marks? Uh -uh. It's so they have a casting person put out a, a job listing for temp workers. Right. Mm. And so the interview is the casting director just seeing which people they think are gonna give the best reaction. So they're looking for yep. nervous, neurotic people. Yep. And so they like mm. they do this casting call, but it's it's a temp job. So it's people who need work. They show up, they, they're doing what they think is a job interview, but it's actually like a casting interview. Mm -hmm. And then wow. they get the ones who like <laughs> look like they're gonna have the best reactions on camera, they get sent into yeah. the prank. That's thinking it's a job that they evil. need to make money. That's actually evil. But that's yeah. why you get like <laughs> really good reactions. I think that's about as funny as your doctor saying that you have cancer and then saying, ha, just kidding, it was a prank. <laughs> <laughs> good one, doc. Because <laughs> otherwise you could like you get people who like like are probably like completely nonplussed by the prank and that's not like good I TV. can tell no. you right now that not when, I was, science yeah. too. when I was fresh out of college <laughs> trying to find work that would have not been funny at all in any situation <laughs> no but then they like they point out where the cameras are and they know? get excited <laughs> like because it's like you like I remember like there was a couple of jobs I was I almost got a job I went to like the 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 studio where they were doing all the Lion King stuff the live action mm -hmm. movie and I, they needed somebody to do like electronic stuff. And I went there and, and interviewed them. And 
I, th- I thought I was going to get hired. And I can only imagine like if that setup had been something where I was led to believe like, yeah, like I got a job, like I'm going to be able to do <laughs> yeah. this. And then it was like a big joke and I was the one being made fun of. And it was like stressful and horrible. Like I, I would have gone home and felt like shit for well, a month. Yeah. Yeah. Still, got they that. still got paid. Yeah, they so got paid. So you still make money. Yeah. But just like their How basic much they hourly rate, probably was, like $8. It was, it was like <laughs> a couple know? hundred dollars. Oh, so right. they would have gotten paid doing the job. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, Wait, yeah, yeah. Like well, well more, yeah. Okay. Because they would get, they because it was a, it was a union show. So we had to like pay them mm. the minimum that you would pay like a background extra okay. with speaking parts. So oh, a fe- cool. or featured extra. Right. Did you, but know- do you remember we thought that um, Mythbusters The Search was a prank? When we all showed up, we were like, "This, we're gonna get punked. Like, this isn't real, is it?" Like, and then Adam ended up showing up that day, and we're like, "Maybe this is real." I mean, you guys all sort of did get punked. We did. We did. <laughs> I mean, the amount of money we got paid. It we actually was got a prank. Hey, speak for yourself. I was, I was eating good. I thought that was great money. He was getting multiple meals a day, and he was like, "This is we, the best day a- I've ever gotten." <laughs> <laughs> was Mythbusters: The Search a good experience or bad experience? Uh, I think it was a great experience, um, and it it happened at the right time for me, and it would ne- I would never do that again. I would yeah, never, ever, yeah. Ever I do think that again. I think some of my closest friends I met on set, so like. It's kind of crazy. Like, and now it's I feel like, like you colleagues. make better friends and bad experience. That, no, yeah, you get for, you got forged in the fire together. So like, it definitely isn't something I would do again. But it was, you know, the people were good. Yeah, I say that about every TV show. Like I've been on, and then you like, keep doing two. It. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm now. Now is for real. The last one. No, it's Street Science. I said I was on Street Science. Yeah, and then I said I'm never going to do another TV show, and I haven't done one. It, I think you it did actually. It. You did, it, Kevin. <laughs> I I broke the cycle because that number one. I remember I asked you like, do you even get to watch the show? They. I didn't have the science channel Mm -hmm. and they wouldn't give me like a stream key or anything to like watch it. They wouldn't give me like an account so I could watch my own TV show. Yep. I'm just now getting to see it now that they're uploading them on YouTube as shorts. Yeah. And some of them, they're like behind a paywall. I'm like, I'm not going to pay to watch this show. I'm not going to pay to watch this shit. (laughs) And then like they tell you to show up. They're like, okay, call time is like, you know, 7 a.m. And I show up there and they don't like actually need me till like 11 or something like that and it got to be so bad where i was just like showing up on purpose like three hours late (laughs) and then like i think the producers finally got the message and then they would start giving me like the kevin call time nice because which i think was still they would because if i was going to show up three hours late they would my call time would be three hours before i was supposed to arrive so I would arrive <laughs> right on time, but I thought I was just like still come like being late. Yeah, but then they that's smart on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They give that's you what like you that. actually we needed. We always give her yeah. earlier time. That's good production. And then by the end of it, like me and the the builder were like at each other's throats. Really? Like oh, this God. guy thought he was like, you know, right on everything, and then yeah. he would like end up doing something. It would all fall apart, and I would like have to do it myself. <laughs> like one time we were doing this thing where we were like thermal lancing a car in half. Yeah, Whoa. and. And like he, he wouldn't. I've never seen it. He wouldn't let me like touch anything or set up anything. And he ended up just like setting the gas bottle up by itself, just like sitting there on the ground. And then like eventually, you know, the cord gets pulled and the whole oxygen bottle falls over on the oh. side, oh. breaks the fitting. Oh, no, not the, the the it broke the low pressure <laughs> fitting, not the, right. the the cool one. Breakfast burritos, Breakfast burritos are here. Breakfast burritos. Breakfast burritos. Did you guys ever um, prank people who needed money? <laughs> Those are the I think to that prank. was that. I think that was me. I was the, the you prank. were the person who needed I money. I needed the money. You were the one being pranked. I'll come around in the back door. I think this one's kind of busted. Oh no! Oh, can't get the burritos. We're getting brecky burritos. This front door of this Airbnb is a fire hazard. It doesn't really seem like a front door. No, it yeah, no. I thought it was decorative. I'm not gonna lie. No, I've, I've never I've never done a TV show. I've just worked behind the scenes on a TV show. And yeah, I think that's it's a much better good. experience than yeah. being on the front end yeah. of a TV yeah, show. Yeah, it seems like the crew has a good time. Like all yeah. the camera people. Because and- you have like you have a job to do, but you don't have to like present. Like I can imagine you being very yeah. frustrated. You're just sitting around doing nothing all day. And then they're just like, all right, get up and like be, you know, energetic. Dance and, and monkey. Yeah, 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 dance, dance yeah. monkey, dance. dance. And yeah. it's like, you dragged me in here like four hours before I needed to be here. And now you're telling me to like be stoked about that. Like, mm-hmm. oh my God. <laughs> I would just sleep. Like I always oh, yeah. slept in my, like I would get there and then like hair and makeup wouldn't be set up or wardrobe wouldn't be right. And I'd just like be like, okay, cool. Wake me up when you actually need me. And I would just go fall asleep somewhere. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> behind, behind the scenes is always like a, a normal job and you don't have as much pressure, I think, in that regard. Nice. You can just do the oh, thing you need to do great. and it's easy. Yeah, yeah, it always seems like the crew's having fun. Yeah. Too. Like they just, the they just chill. Uh, yeah. Three oh, breakfast three burritos. burritos. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, what time were we supposed to be out of here? It's supposed to be 11, but... <laughs> She's staring at the cleaning lady staring at us right now. We're going to kick out of Hi. our Airbnb. <laughs> yeah, this is... The... <laughs> <laughs> we can invite her. Mean, we have another mic. podcast normally about an hour? How, yeah. how long has it been? This one's been like five minutes. 20? 20? 20. Oh, God. All right, so we're definitely going to have a cleaning crew come in here partway through. Cho... Cho with, with cheese. You want cheese. cho with cheese? I didn't. I didn't want cheese. <laughs> okay, we got a cho without cheese in here somewhere. Well, was cheese extra? Because I just said do it regular. Oh, here's the cho. Just cho. cho. Wow, that's a heavy burrito. Oh my See, god. I feel like I, uh, all the time we've like pitched doing shows, like when YouTube Originals uh, wasn't dead. All the, you, you know what? I, there's this trend sure. yeah. of things that resemble TV shows dying everywhere. It's like the dinosaur on tech. YouTube. The originals, they hired a bunch of MTV executives oh, right. and they did this thing and it died. I barely yeah. even remember that. Even Instagram had like that for like mm -hmm. Instagram series and they tried yeah. to get it up there and no one was nope. like, oh, everybody was like, wants nah, 10 good. second videos. You know, there yeah. was, at one point, I filmed a pilot for a, a Mythbuster series on Snapchat. Oh, yeah, yeah, with Amy. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's how we got Amy in our lives. It yeah, never yeah. went anywhere. It was just a screen test. They had us like play with Legos and it was going to be a Mythbuster Snapchat show. They paid me like, like two episodes worth of of MythBusters, basically Whoa. to do that pilot, and I was like, "TV's bad. TV's Snapchat wow. good. TV bad." Wow, <laughs> yeah. that is because you lot. remember I, I we had like a I think our day rate was like five hundred dollars a day or something. It was like not no, during the search that was a week. No, I mean for the actual show, like oh, actual, for the actual, actual, actual yeah, MythBusters, yeah, yeah. yeah which like you think was like super super valuable or whatever. And it's like. We had five hundred dollars a day. Yep. <laughs> and then you have no work for the next but we were three actually, months. But we were making more than the hosts were. Because remember, they got locked in at per the five hundred a week. Per day, but they they had yeah. like Overall, an entire season. Yeah, they had the whole season. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, and that, promo and they, talking and blah blah. Their their deal was pretty good when you consider that they they uh you know they got a salary that is about like a, a fair year's salary for anyone else for uh like a, a summer basically yeah that's true <laughs> i love this is like your really like shitty grandpa that everyone hated and he died and you don't feel bad talking shit about him <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i've got like, what are they gonna do never hire you again <laughs> exactly I, I i mean that's you like, already didn't get any inheritance <laughs> yeah that's yeah. one of the best didn't part have any. is like we can we can kind of do whatever we want now like <laughs> you're like <laughs> Uh, no, it is. Like before, like on your social media, like there was um for Revengineers, like Mark Rober's Revengineers. Uh, what? Mark Rober's Revengineers. What? It's, you know, the knockoff side jinx show that series? came out. Oh. <laughs> Mark Rober's Revengineers. The, Never the heard of it. Part of the Discovery contract that we got, like, uh, I think it was on Discovery Channel. I don't even remember anymore. Um, But like, like it gets so kind of up your ass. Like, first of all, Discovery has like this, this, um, like, uh, uh, rivalry with Nat Geo. So just being on a Discovery show means and like history and history. Yeah. You can't, you can't be, be on, on Nat either. Geo or history for like, you know, at least a year or whatever. <laughs> but then like the contract, it was at <laughs> a point like, where the, there's a plate and there's like two jelly beans on it. Like, this is my jelly bean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at one point in the contract, it literally says that like, 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 changes in relationship status have to be told to production <laughs> before you like like say anything about it on social media Whoa. i was like what the fuck what do you care <laughs> but that's like yeah, that's, that is, that, this clause in this contract is not going to save you from what's happening yeah. With <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah they have they have a lot of weird rules because remember like you were the only one on search that was allowed to go near youtube like they literally mm. had a clause Carved that said you're not allowed to do any YouTube content, social media content. So like when the shows started airing, like I, I started doing, that's when I started doing costume design in Hollywood because I couldn't do anything in front of the camera. So mm, that's bizarre. Yeah. That's, that's what happens if you violate that? They'd sue you. You oh, just, weird. you wouldn't get renewed. And at that time it was actually still going, mm. I guess. And then I don't know. I remember like it's just stupid because it's like free PR for them. Mm -hmm. If you're on something else, no, you're stealing from them. Like, 
I'm, I'm stealing That's my, my body. Jelly bean. That's my jelly bean. Body. That's my single my body. one little <laughs> shitty jelly bean. <laughs> like I remember when the when the trailer came out. I think the trailer got like I don't know, like like twenty thousand views or whatever. And then I on my channel did a reaction to the trailer to announce it, like, oh, I'm on this show. I think it got like a couple hundred thousand views, and then it got copyright struck. Yeah, I get copyright tricks all did the time. They or did they just take the, I mean, no? It, I, I I had to contact like their PR person, like, hey, fuck you. I'm on the show and I'm promoting the show. Can you please make this video available again? Oh, so they just hit it completely. It was gone. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. My god. Yeah. It, 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 it because the trailer footage was it, because I was reacting to Dude, the trailer. They put so much work into making sure that their one jelly bean won't go somewhere else. <laughs> that yeah. They end up like screwing themselves they over. They smack their own jelly bean. Yeah. They're like yeah. Smashed. And that's like all the, the executive side. That's all like the you know producer side. They're but so they, disconnected. But it's all like the work. His view got way more than their yeah. actual yeah. commercial did because they were a cable package on top of the cable package, and they people actually got cable probably because of your video. You know the most astounding thing I've ever heard from somebody in traditional media is that they're jealous of YouTubers. Holy shit, Alan! <laughs> <Did you? laughs> my my burrito just terrazzled all over my chest. <laughs> I think your mic was hungry is what it was. Oh God, I got I got it all over the mic. You do have it all Hi, over Peter. the mic. Hi Peter, oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey Peter, you wanna fill in for Alan really quick? Hey uh, Peter, do you wanna be Alan? The cleaners kicked you out, did they say yeah, get out? Yeah, they're oh. trying to come in here but we're trying to finish the podcast first. Sorry, I didn't realize you were in there. They asked if that was occupied. Oh, you said no. <laughs> Did you, you know? Can be, you can do... be replacement Alan while he's covered in. No, I'm gonna go. just do it covered like this. I'm not gonna hide my shame. This is amazing. <laughs> Speaking of not hiding our shame, do we want to show our feet? No, what's wrong with you? No. But uh, you guys are getting famous on Wiki is, Feet because of your podcast. Money. This is as close as I can get to. No, they they know they can find it feet if they want the feet. <laughs> Yeah, we we were looking at WikiFeet the other day, and like most of the entries for us are actually from this podcast. Yeah, saw, and so. the scores yeah. are not as good as they should be. So fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah. How dare you give Kevin uh, like a four point one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah what, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I Go on WikiFeet right guess. now and give us five stars. <laughs> five stars. Well, I want to see five hundred five star reviews on our yeah, feet by, by the end of this episode. By next I want. Thursday. I want that. Yeah. For the audio listeners, my Peter pictures are just here. Us. And then I'll give you a new one. These toes don't come out. Yeah. These dogs don't come out like to play burrito. for free. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, I was trying to freaking sleep and I got kicked out of the other room because we're supposed to be on this Airbnb like an hour ago. <laughs> the cleaners are, we, we're literally at the time oh we're supposed God, to blood. leave this Airbnb, but we're only halfway through the podcast. So the, the good news though is this Airbnb is being paid for by Mark Rober because we just filmed with him and I don't care if there's a late <laughs> fee. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. It's his problem. <laughs> so is the chandelier. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, there's... Yeah, no. <laughs> did you guys talk about the chandelier? No, we haven't talked about the no, chandelier no. yet. Oh, should we talk about what we did here at all? Yeah, I think we could. Yeah, we should, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No Mark attention. has a lot of jelly beans. I don't think we yeah. can take that money from <laughs> <No>. him. <laughs> um, we we were tasked by Mark Rober to take down <laughs> a drone. So each of us had to come up with a way Turns to take a drone tough down. Tough bastards. Tough little bastards, those drones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I, you know what? I thought they were DJI drones at first, and then I realized I they're like, what was it? It was, what were they called? I don't remember, but they're like the knockoff DJI. Yeah. Holy Stone. Holy Stone or yeah, something like that. Holy Stones are weird. Uh, how much is that? These these drones, they look like DJI drones. I think they're like 300 bucks. Oh, 300 bucks? Yeah. Okay, because they they like did not want to fall out of the sky. They're super robust. Yeah. Like, 200, the they, drone yeah. op was like, I really thought these were going to die easily and they're not yeah, dying. They're not dying at all. <laughs> um, and so we basically just spent the past you know, I would say it was kind of close to a TV show. <laughs> it was bigger. No. It, it was had bigger more, than a TV it show. had a bigger, bigger. crew yeah. than we had on Mythbusters Jr. Marku and I were talking about it. I was like, there's more people here. And he's like, yep, it's annoying. I think the only <laughs> thing I've seen that was bigger is is Squid Game. That's the biggest thing I've ever oh, yeah. seen in my entire life with the Mr. Beast Squid Game video. I, I don't even oh, know. I thought you meant the actual Squid no, Game. No, no, I bet you Mr. Beast Squid yeah. Game was bigger. I 100%. It was. Yeah. yeah. Did, you get to, did you get to run or shoot? Uh, no, we it. built a whole thing for it in about the same, no, a little bit more time than we did this, but it was worse. <laughs> I got, I got to shoot. You got to shoot? I got to shoot. I was standing there with an iPad and I remember there was like a, a very German guy or something calling out numbers to, to kill. Nine. And, and he was like, he said something like, do, do 20. So I'm like, okay, 220, like you're dead. You're out of here. And then he's like, no, he's. 
no, I did I did 20. I killed 20. And he's like, no, 220. I thought he said do 20. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I so sorry, 220. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, yeah. That guy put a one, like half a million dollars or whatever. Yeah. I doubt it. <laughs> did someone actually get a prize on that? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you did not get a prize. Me? Yeah. I got a prize. <laughs> <laughs> last last night, I mean. Oh, uh so that, so. Yeah, they took our prize away. No, uh, when we did when we did Squid Game, they like I would actually say that. Like Mr. Beast saw, you know, like grew up watching TV and I mean, and YouTube too, but like the idea of TV and winning prizes is like kind of bullshit in reality. Yeah. And then what Mr. Beast does is like actually what you think a TV show does when somebody wins a prize where it's mm -hmm. like, here's a million dollars. And and it's kind of like, you know, you know how that works. It's like yeah. kind of fake and they like whatever. And like and your tax. Yeah. And, and then with Jimmy, it. it's like, here's like, you know, a million bucks. It's like, here's actually like. Like people actually mm -hmm. win what you think people get on TV mm -hmm. shows, like the grand prize or this or that. Nice. Um, I mean, there's still tax implication. Like if you get yeah, paid you money, still have you to have get to taxed, pay. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's why you have a nonprofit. So yeah, I think he pays the tax the too. Like, uh, what? Some, I think on some stuff, I think there's like, like the there, there's the car conundrum <laughs> where you like get the car and have to pay the added value tax because yeah. you technically it counts as income, which is like it makes sense, but also it's kind of bullshit. Um, so how does that work? Would it be like an infinite decaying? Because it's like you you get a car, you also get money to pay off the car, but then you have to pay money yeah. on the you have to pay tax on the money you got too. So then you have yeah. to get even more money to pay off that tax. I there is a form. A I think there is a limit that it reaches. There's like, a form you can do like where you can you pay said. for the tax <laughs> for the thing. Mm -hmm. So I know this is like I, when like Alex Ernst got uh, a, when David Dober gave him a Tesla. Mm -hmm. I immediately that's the first thing I asked him was like like what's the tax implication of that. And then he asked and they did, there is a form you can fill out where you pay the tax for the recipient of it. But oh. a TV show won't do that because it's extra money. Mm, I think they've, I think ever since the whole like Oprah fiasco decades ago, I think they do typically do that. Oh, now. they do it now? Yeah. yeah. Cause it was kind of, it's kind of a disaster. It's like, here's a car that you literally can't afford to pay the taxes mm. on. And so you can't claim the prize or you'd have to claim it and then try to sell it. Yeah. And, yeah. Then pay. and so it kind of creates this like not prize thing where it's like mm. sort of, BS. you know what they don't, do it on at least not like recently um like home renovation shows mm. if they like increase the value of the home they don't cover the increase in the property tax uh, they also don't always get all the license that they're supposed to when they're doing those renovations so you get in a lot of trouble sometimes with the city really oh that's a nightmare <laughs> well it's like and then i was on the show vacation chasers and like what Vacation yeah, chasers? it's basically they pitch you like multiple vacations and you pick one. But the whole thing is, is they actually <laughs> cast for people that are already going on a vacation and have already paid the deposits. See, on that's, it. Like, that they is don't exactly the grand you. pricing I'm talking about. Of, they like, don't pay it's you. all they don't bullshit. Pay. <laughs> they is. call it reality TV, but it's actually the fakest thing in existence. Like, yeah, and then they don't even help you actually plan it or book it, even though it's like with your own money. They still are like that travel agent that like pitched you this great thing just disappears and you're like, wait a minute, but yeah. who, who was it with to get to that budget? Does that right. actually exist now? Okay. Oh. I'll start over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, th nothing drives me more nuts. I think than traditional media cause it's so entitled, but also so shitty. It's shitty for everyone. It's yeah. entitled. It's fake. It's BS. Like I think like YouTube and like internet content is probably some of the like, best stuff that's ever ever mm. been made yeah ever yeah i mean the just just the analytics you get to like be able to know how to make stuff better is insane compared to television yeah yeah i also think because it's like distilled down it's just you doing stuff you're not beholden yeah. to shareholders and yeah and like and you're cable tv from other stuff yeah you can just do whatever the heck you want, do whatever you want. like i have tried to go back and watch some of the shows that i watched when i was a kid and they're like absolute dog water like even like like Monster Garage, it's mm. so slow, oh, it's slow yeah, dragged yeah, yeah, out. Yeah. It's like they turn twenty minutes into forty minutes. It's horrible. Like yeah. how did I? Like you just had to put up with it when you were, you know, when it was TV. Like yeah, what like are you those gonna do? So, like Spike TV police chase compilations. <laughs> yeah. and it's like, right. oh my god, like, this they is take, like actual garbage. Yeah, yeah, it's like they just replay the same clips over yeah. and over and over yeah. again. They, yep. Yeah, they just yeah. they would do. You remember when you would like watch cartoons or something? It would be like, oh, it's like. Uh, this show and then another show and then it's again but it would be like the same episode yeah, yeah. in the yeah. same day and it's like you have nothing else have you ever been on tv peter i think it was on a discovery thing <laughs> you <don't laughs> you think? yeah it was something that came out and they filmed something with my leg wear oh discovery canada yeah 
what did they call that show? I have no idea what it was called. Outrageous, <laughs> I, I, honestly, I'm outrageous acts of science. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was it outrageous acts of science? Outrageous acts of science. See, he made yeah, as much as we did hosting Mythbusters. Yeah, they gave me like five hundred bucks. It was a waste of time. They literally saw some camera guy and filmed in my basement. Yeah, he loved playing outside, and then he left. Yeah, well, that's pretty easy for five hundred. We yeah. had to build things for that much money. <laughs> oh yeah, we were we were classified as um builders. Uh, no, 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 no. It was science it was, experts. It it was the Jesus. specific way they got around insurance because normally they would have had to insure us. We were artists. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's and right. so that's why when we were like building stuff. Like they didn't have to pay for insurance if we got injured because we weren't classified as builders. We were artists. But they had ADDs on us. Like I literally drowned on Mythbusters and <laughs> they, they had DNRs on us. They, <laughs> they, they, like, well, they like like they would not let them take me to the hospital. Like, and then they made me sign a form saying that I was the one that didn't want to go to the hospital. Yeah. I'm like, what? I, the hell? I watched something, I witnessed something at uh, Universal Studios a couple months ago when we were there. Okay. Uh, Chelsea needed to uh, uh, feed potato, and so we we went to like they have a like a um a oh, little yeah, first aid it. emergency area. It's yeah. like a little doctor's office at Universal at at the the lower area, and just you know privacy because a lot of people there. And this old man comes in, and you like just hear them talking, and then people like multiple people come in like park management and he like cut himself somewhere like in the mummy ride, like oh, in the queue or something. You, you. And the way they were asking him questions, I was like, this is they're they are geniuses. Like they were asking him questions that almost were like asking if he was okay mm -hmm. while like dismissing their liability. <laughs> and it all led to him signing a form <clears throat> that yes, was like, like you, he yeah. were, basically it was he was refusing medical services right, right. is what the form was ah. it's like do you like essentially it was do you want us to call you an ambulance and that led to signing a like a release of liability mm. because he didn't want the ambulance yeah oh if you don't want an ambulance you must be fine then yeah. basically yeah yeah, yeah. slip by the mouse man it yeah so they said yeah. the thing like oh do you need to go to the hospital for this right exactly yeah, yeah. and it's like it's I was, and then he's like no, no no it's not that bad oh well if it's not that bad then we'll just sign yeah. this thing that you don't need a ride to the hospital i was like and, this is like some serious protocol and training they put these people through because uh -huh. they know exactly how to handle these situations to like lock it down where it's like you signed this thing like if they decide later to try That's to see you excellent wow. oh my god it's very like you know reminiscent of like the disney thing like no one's ever died on disney yeah 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 because they get them out of the park they they drag, drag. <laughs> they like, they this die outside. Thing. they're doing <laughs> cpr they and they're like <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of like it's messed up though it's like making a show like you're doing a thing and they don't yeah. even want to take responsibility for is there is there any kind of protocol like that for open sauce if anyone starts dying yeah on what's open a, what's sauce, your, there's an dragged. emt there does the EMT drag them off no, the property? No, I think, I think it'd be, I mean, <laughs> how cool would it be if, you know, never mind. What if, the, <laughs> if, if like, if, you, if the EMT is looking outside the property, if someone starts dying on the street, they drag them in so you can see, yeah, exactly. so you can say someone did die. Last year, 13 <laughs> people died in open <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. It's amazing. Could you, if somebody dies, you could, like, involve them and have them there. Right yeah. there. It's hardcore. Call the yeah. nearest hospital. It's real. It's yeah. like minutes from, minutes from last accident. Yeah. <laughs> We're oh. trying to keep this at zero the whole time, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do have we mentioned that the exhibitor applications? Though people yeah. know they're open, right? The, like, they, yeah, I, I think. I mean, I'm assuming most people know exhibitor applications are open. If you guys have any intention of exhibiting and you didn't know that, you should apply to exhibit with something cool or stuff that you've built that is cool. Like, don't don't. It's not necessarily one thing, but if you do apply, you know, like highlight a cool thing you've done. Your odds are pretty good as long Very as you good. have like a thing and not like a dream, like yeah. a dream that you had of building a <laughs> yeah. thing. If you have an actual thing and you send in an application that is decent, you have a very good yeah. chance of getting, they get free free admission, right? Yeah, free admission. Free admission. You get to come to what is the that, $200 party. value? Yeah, it's $200 for a ticket, for, yeah. a, week, for a weekend ticket. Uh, and you get to come to the Friday party which is priceless priceless that's yeah. really honestly i would say the why why you should exhibit yeah <laughs> um and i think we're gonna be able to do like parking this year so mm. i think pretty sure i can say exhibitors will get like free on-site parking i think you can probably keep your car there too so you can like keep it in a secured lot that's cool yeah 
in the in you know Bay Area. Like the the amount of space that we're gonna have this year is insane. Like how yeah. many exhibitors? Like uh, oh, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm we're we're shooting for five hundred. Five hundred yeah. wow. exhibitors. Mm-hmm. So it's like your odds are probably pretty good. Yeah, if you've got something yeah. cool. You want to show it off. You want to meet other cool people. Yeah. Look at their cool stuff. Yeah. Like. That's we should like, I, I wish we had more footage <clears throat> of the like walking through the actual exhibitor because you know, I mean we didn't like it, there's just too many things going on last year. I didn't even see yeah. half the exhibitors. You could just Same. fly a drone around. We have like there is drone footage, but like you know, like going through and exploring <laughs> them is something. Yeah, you were just so busy, year. you never you yeah. never had a chance really? to really I only, walk ta- I only saw like two exhibits. Like I literally had a no time to like stop and look at stuff. It was a it was, you know, just Yeah. <laughs> like Hey, you had to make sure that nobody died. Yeah, it's was, was, it was like a wedding planner. They're just like running around with like a chicken with a head cut off. Oh, on um, the bright side, though, if someone dies at Open Sauce, we can start another event. If they're an organ donor on their on their license, yeah, we can do a live organ harvesting. <laughs> no other oh. organ has that. You just ask the EMT that's going yeah. to do this. Well, like, I am not qualified. <laughs> Uh, like a replace your own organ kit. Can we do? Can we do a kit that's just a cooler with the liver inside of it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a scalpel. All right. If you if you need one of these, we get we got it. Uh, but please do it within the next six hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So apply to exhibit at opensauce.com. You you got dot com. Yeah. yeah. Opensauce.com. Yeah. I think it, I'm I'm ninety nine percent certain it works right. It took like a week. The dot, opensauce.live caused us so many problems i it's a, actually kind of embarrassing that the internet doesn't work like it was a domain problem like services some services do not work with dot live oh like actually they just don't work like emails and stuff we'll have, we're having all sorts of problems with dot live jeez yeah let's see open. let's make sure opensauce.com open source. works and that the exhibitor link works so we're all gonna pull com. it up and see if we can crash it <laughs> yeah <laughs> all it takes is four people to go to the website and it crashes <laughs> Hey, there's five of us now. Apply to exhibit and <laughs> and, hey, yeah, and all the works. cleaning ladies waiting outside. Yeah, and all the cleaning ladies that keep looking in the window. Oh Jesus! Do you think they want to exhibit an open sauce? I they heard they us would talking love about to it. Exhibit. They would like to open the door and kick us out. <laughs> I mean, Tommy's alive, so we could tell them they can clean the basement. Do they clean the basement? I don't know. They're, oh. <laughs> They're calling. They're calling the host right now. Let them know. The <laughs> Send in the kill squad. <laughs> we need an extraction team. <laughs> I say when we're done here, we move the couch to the wall and we leave it there instead of in the archway. It's going to make so much more sense. The archway. The, yeah, yeah, it's Airbnb. Isn't this a fireplace behind us? Yeah, yeah. But I think we can move the couch over there. Yeah, there's nothing on that wall. Yeah. And like, like why? Wh- I guess they can't. You can't see it, but it's like the yeah. this Airbnb. It's got this archway that has like. Like a main one and two little it's ones. Horrible. The only one you can walk through is the main yeah. one because it's actual like human height. The yeah. two other ones are hobbit height. And they put the couch <laughs> in the big yeah. arch so no yeah. one can walk through it. I can walk yeah. through that very easily, Alan. Hobbit. 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 Go fuck yourself, <laughs> Hobbit. <laughs> Oh, no. Tommy's taking the back. Hobbit <laughs> store burrito. That's exactly what a Hobbit would do. Yeah. That's exactly what he would do. He's it for second breakfast. <laughs> Every time we go to different Airbnbs, you, like, learn, like, how people build houses. And the person that built this house was an idiot. Yeah. In, the, in the bathroom, the sink is, like, right here. And the toilet is, like, facing the sink. And then there's a wall. So you have to, like, go diagonally to the toilet. And then you sit down. And your, like, chin is, like... On the sink <laughs> in the bathroom. Well, I mean, like, if you're ever going from both ends, then it's useful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't. I hate people who build stuff like this. Like they actually didn't think about it. Like, well, we we'll just put the sink there and the toilet there, and I don't give a shit about the hundreds of people that are gonna have to. It's like how many houses have you built and you've never like figured this out? You haven't figured this out yet. Maybe this was their first house. I mean, I could, remember, I'd believe it. The trip we did to James. Do you remember the Airbnb there? How crooked it was oh, in the basement? Oh, yeah. That was the most cursed one. It had like literally a cubby hole like next to the TV that you lifted up. And there was dirt under there. Yeah, so we definitely probably got a what? cheaper one, though, because all yeah. of us were, were broke then. That one was really, <laughs> really bad. Yeah. I was impressed with the architecture in that because they, they haven't heard of a carpenter square. And I don't even <laughs> oh, do <yeah>. construction. <laughs> you, you saw the basement here, right? The basement's amazing. Yeah. You did see the basement? Yeah, how, how wicked it is. All it's the like, steps and stuff going up? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's for, that's for their U joints. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like, I, we're like downtown San Jose right now. These houses are like, I think, over 100 years old. They're very old houses. My yeah. Friend, my friend owned one here. Um, and they just keep going up in price. And instead of 
tearing them down and rebuilding them. They just take the crawl space that was under it and convert it into livable space. And that's what they did here. And you just end up with like, like, yeah, it's like total, (laughs) like, like, I don't, I don't know if slum Lord is the right word, but like, if I was renting the basement of this house, I think that's definitely yeah. some lord territory. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, it's bad. It's bad. It's like landlord special. Everything's just, you know, painted over, covered the, you know, it's just like. I, and I, don't I think, know. like, if you look at the, there's like three raised sections in the bathroom. So they yeah. have to get like that huge trap or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like they've got the bathroom one, yeah. bathroom two, then the kitchen. Yeah. And they're all at the slightly yon, different the levels. Yeah. So they can get the yeah. slope. Yeah. Ah. Like, yeah. I. There's so many rules and regulations together. when you're trying to like yeah. build something <laughs> that yes. I'm a, I cannot believe it. there's no way this was ever inspected by an it's inspector. There's no way. No way. What happens if you don't pass an inspect like what they, they you can't keep doing it. Oh, they tell you like yeah. you can't live And then in you have to demolish anymore? it. And then yeah. guess what? You know how you demolish things? You have to go get a permit to demolish it. <laughs> oh yeah. god. What happens if you demolish something without a permit? Uh, they make you build it back they up make again. You they before make you, you clear all the, the trash exact way before, and then <laughs> Dude, make you fix all the violations the right way. I actually don't know, but I'm I'm pretty sure there's like some killdozer energy and like why that guy did that was dealing with the local like, yeah. city council. <laughs> Have you read about the killdozer? I love the killers. It's my favorite story of all time. I, I feel like the guy. That. He's my hero. Was He's actually well, crazy. Yeah, well, yeah. Also I was gonna say like everyone like kind of idolized it a little bit, even though like, he, nobody killed died except him, right? Oh, so we can joke about it. Um, it just cost people a bunch of money. He was like, I think actually just like sort of crazy. Uh, yeah, I, I, I still like, empathize with yeah. his overall yeah, idea. I, when you look at like the whole picture, apparently it was like more of just him being stubborn. Like yeah. it wasn't totally reasonable. Like you can understand yeah. why, but he was like kind of part of the problem. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. like they just took heard, the dude's house. He just wanted to build some, the kill dozer. Of it. He yeah. had enough money; he could have just really just have left. But he's more like, I'm gonna prove a point that you can't mess with me in this way. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like, it's a little bit of vendetta that it you was, shouldn't mess with. Them. It was more aggro yeah. than it was like actually a problem. It wasn't like here's this house that I've lived in for, you know, my family's had for a hundred years, and they're gonna tear it down to make a freeway kind of thing. It was a little bit more. What, wasn't he like a building contractor, and he just felt like he got stiffed by the city for like some job yeah. or something? Yeah. Yeah, they cut off oh. access to his business, but but he could have like that had it. Crazy. He could have made a road like on the other side or something like he that. He had a bulldozer. He could have just made a new yeah. road. Oh. Here, we I should look this up. Asked, he said, "Hey, I got my own equipment. Can I just do it myself?" And they were like, "Permits? No, denied." Right. This and then he was crazy. like, "I'm I'm gonna go on a rampage." Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll show like, you a permit. Yeah, like going from not being able to get a permit to going on a like a bulldozer rampage and spending all the money to build that thing out is like there like there's a step in there that's not like <laughs> William, <laughs> like William don't missing. make me mad. I'll make Killcopter. Killcopter. <laughs> yeah, that would be Oh, Killcopter. That'd be so cool. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I wanna I wanna read his motivation. I love the picture on Wikipedia is just like him smiling at like a family dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, nice. So it was an automobile uh, muffler repair shop, um, is what the business was. He had grudges against town officials, neighbors, um, neighbors of his muffler repair shop, the local press, and various other citizens. <laughs> he just hated everyone. He was a curmudgeon. Yeah, so he definitely was a curmudgeon. Um, oh, God, it's got his whole life story on here, too. Wow, Wikipedia is awesome. Like, People said he was a likable person. He would bend over backwards for anyone. That's very contradictory <laughs> to the first statements. <laughs> That's why he snapped. It's always the nice ones that make a kill those. So, <laughs> local resident... Christy Baker claimed that her husband was threatened by him after refusing to pay for a disputed muffler repair. Um, oh, <laughs> how much does a muffler repair even cost? If you got a repair. This, I don't know. It's $124. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was strongly in favor of gambling legalization and campaigned for, for the, the cause on several occasions. At one point, he began dis- disseminating. A newspaper? What does disseminating mean? He's spreading, spreading it. it. Oh. <laughs> mm, I don't like that word. <laughs> Deseminization. Jesus, I feel like they could have. It's like spreading it outside well, instead of it actually that. inside. Is that what paper boys do? <laughs> the disseminating newspapers? <laughs> yes. I mean, Can we use a different yeah, word, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have I made my case? <laughs> <laughs> um, disputes, two acres... 
I I I just want to know just like a lot of things. His motivation. They told him that putting in a septic tank was less expensive, but he rejected and said he wanted the government to pay for sewage hookups, and he was being extorted. It's not even like a single thing. It's just like a like these are all like these. He he chose to have really weird specific like straws for his camel back, and then one of one of them. Broke, broke it? <laughs> I lost the metaphor there. <laughs> broke the camel's ass. It was, a, it was yeah. a death of a thousand cuts. He 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 had a cuts. camel's ass crack and it just it got it got cracked as as too wide. I don't know. I just admire his build quality. <laughs> you know? I don't think they it couldn't. was straws that broke the camel's back. I think it was the steel plating and concrete. <laughs> so they were trying to buy the property. So it's like the they suggested they're trying to keep the I think they maybe were trying to clean up that area or something. And they like offered that he asked for a quarter million dollars and then had it reappraised and asked for $125,000 and then had it reappraised again and then said it was worth $450,000. <laughs> um, they were trying to rezone. It looks like, so they were trying to rezone mm -hmm. the area and take over his spot. Uh, it was just like a muffler repair shop. Right. And then he just kept asking for more money. Um, it does sound like he probably was the kind of guy that would make a kill dozer. It was like, a concrete. It, it's kind of crazy. So then it, I guess it was a concrete plant or something that he was fighting with. Big concrete. Yeah. Oh, that's Big why rock. he couldn't pave his road. <laughs> They're like, are you going to have the bulldozer that you have, but you God, without is, our concrete? Is there a shorter version of this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, what if you just copy paste the whole thing to ChatGPT and ask it to it. summarize yeah. it? Like, uh, ask it it's like, like what is what is the single today. what is the single most important reason that he made the kill dozer? Yeah. Oh yeah. Ask the uh, the voice one. I don't have. I don't. I can. Someone have it set up more easily. Oh, right, for here's the voice, our, here's I our Reddit the voice post. That's true. Also, I don't know if you can copy paste into the voice one. Um, talk to it instead. Yeah. No, they, they probably knows. It's, it's kind of bizarre because it's like. Oh wait, you know what? I actually think this is this is. I remember the septic thing, so I think he was just sort of dumping sewage or something. Ew. Uh, the town annexed the land, which means that they like incorporated it, so that he became a part of the town. Mm -hmm. And they told him it cost eighty thousand dollars to build a sewer pipe. Um, no, he requested they annex his land into the network and hook him up to it. Uh, they told him it would cost eighty thousand for sewer line. And they told it, they literally told it would be cheaper for septic. So I think, so instead, he sunk an old concrete mixer truck into the ground and started illegally storing sewage in that. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. No when this way. truck inevitably filled up, he would pump the contents out into a <laughs> drainage ditch, which polluted the town's groundwater. Oh, <laughs> that's so gross. Right, okay, now I'm sorry. All you had remember. to do was drill a couple holes in the, in the, yeah, I mean, he was like mixing halfway truck. to a septic tank, yeah. anyways. Shit Make a drainage are. field. Like he's literally like most of the way there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think I think that the guy was just kind of like crazy and would just demanded that <laughs> like his trash be treated like treasure. I don't know. And then I made think a kill those and then made a kill those. Yeah, like kill you don't go from normal dude to kill those yeah. just because. And the kill dozer was very impressive too. It was very impressive. And I'm he he didn't hurt anybody. I'm more yeah. mad they destroyed it. They should have made that thing into an attraction. Because <laughs> it had it had like cameras and stuff, yeah, right? It was really cool. If you could like it. A, just a, a crazy guy made this. Let's make a museum out of it. <laughs> I think more people should go on kill dozer rampages and not hurt anybody. Did they guy? I think that's a, I think a, that's a very American IRS thing building? to do. Yeah, that one's pretty understandable too. What? <laughs> I don't want to pay my taxes. I don't yeah. want to pay my taxes. I, what would the founding fathers yeah, do? You know, you know, you know the problem with this is like when you hear a story like that, everyone kind of just immediately like, what did they do to him? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like there's this sort of collective sympathy about like yeah. you know the IRS or like the like local council just making your life a living hell. It's like you know when you think about it, like your local government literally is just like an HOA. Yeah. Just on a larger That's scale. True. It's yeah. a larger yeah. scale. Like the government is just an enormous yeah. HOA. They're like they're they're not as nitpicky, but they're sometimes like not competent. Yeah. Like I've had you know my stories of friends like uh, a couple of my friends' parents are like contractors and um, they'd have a inspector show up and say you can't do it like that. You have to do it like this, and they would fix it. And then two days later, another inspector would show up, a different inspector, and the other, the new inspector would say, "Oh no, you got to do it like that." And you're sitting there like, "Oh, oh, okay, I see how this is going down." Is like you, you know, there's not really like a solid single consensus, but yeah. they have the authority to like make you redo stuff, mm. and so you kind of end up in some of these like, like 
spinning your wheels like they're just telling you to do things just because they can and they're not like neutral they don't have like a neutral standpoint either right. it's like you know they're biased because they're like yeah. oh i don't want big planes flying yeah. over my house and you do that to the wrong crazy person and they build a kill dozer <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i kind of think it'd be cool to make a kill dozer like just not not to go on a rampage but just to like sort of like reenact it because it's like the you don't get fuzzy pictures of the thing like yeah. there's no like nice close up. I think Whistling Diesel's <laughs> yeah. working on I it. Know, I don't want more people say, like, is, kill dozers. Is that okay? I don't know if that's okay. You, you, the only reason he's doing it is because he knows it's kind of <laughs> fucked up, right? <laughs> like he wouldn't do it if it wasn't, right? Right. Oh, it's for views. It's like it's doing really well for him. I, it's making <laughs> yeah, me laugh. It's cool. It's like a meme. Yeah. It's cool. Well, did you see he bought the exact same yes. bulldozer and drove it through town? And people were like, oh, what the hell is going on here? It's not easy to get like that that particular model of bulldozer. He found like the only one that was like for sale in North America. Yeah. It took like a yeah. while. Yeah, like they spent a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like I think I think if you go through that much effort and time and money to get the kill dozer, that you should be allowed to drive it through the town where the kill dozer uh -huh. went through. Yeah, it should be part well, of the like careful parade. Your that you have. <laughs> <laughs> what if he drives it to the town? I don't think he'd make it. <laughs> Imagine driving a hundred miles in a bulldozer. Oh my god! <laughs> the excavator goes like actually like three miles an hour. Like even just having to move it, like. Across to the other side of the house takes like five minutes. <laughs> Scissor lifts go way faster. Which ones? Scissor lifts. Yeah, there's something about tracked vehicles. They're just so slow. <laughs> what are you going to go on a rampage with the scissor lift? No, Mark, who and I <laughs> used to talk about racing. You're, the, the scissor lift at Crunch Labs is really fast. You oh. could, I guess you could turn it into more of like a mobile like sniper crow's nest, right? If you wanted yeah. to do like oh, a yeah. um a kill kill lift. Have you scissor? Seen that? Like there's this thing called this company called like ring power but they have this this little skid steer with this telescoping like armored plated snipers crow nest it's like whoa why do you need this is like a police swap yeah, yeah they, have, they have those they're in sniping. Uh, san diego comic-con yeah, yeah are those the ones they're they, like, sniping and police diego. sniping yeah. <laughs> those are the ones they park in the middle of like amusement park parking lots so they can shoot yeah. you so they can they yeah shoot the uh, <laughs> yeah they have a ton of them in the gas lamp district during sdcc Oh wait, so to snipe the to yeah, kill, like, the, kill the furries if yep. they the get furries. out of no, no, <laughs> like, that. No, it's like to kill like big game hunting. They, ever since they <laughs> ever since they had blind. the shooting at the music festival, SDCC's yeah. had snipers on the hotels and in you know, little birds. And I stuff like that. have a suspicion that that will not help any anything. No. What a, a sniper taking out a, another, another sniper, sniper that they can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they'll do literally anything than something that will actually solve the problem. Like we've armed the police with grenades. <laughs> like okay, cool. We've hired ninjas. <laughs> we, 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 everyone now has a sniper rifle. <laughs> you just give them all drones. They just like, like pass out bulletproof vests. The real answer though is to just ban concerts. Ban. <laughs> yeah. No more concerts. Yeah. You can't go outside. Anymore. No more schools. I mean, the music no anymore. more schools. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! I'm okay with that. I don't want to go to school anymore. <laughs> you don't go to school. You don't you actually don't go to school anymore, <laughs> Peter? Don't go to school. <laughs> we don't know that. <laughs> we were we were driving uh, up here and we saw two. Or we were back from the farm. Where did we see the SWAT cars? But it was just police with the Humvees. Oh, that was us. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. we were driving up here. Up here. Yeah, it was, like it was really Humvees, militarized Humvees. Like, just completely like like blacked out military Humvees. Huh. I said police on it. You're like, oh, uh -oh. shit. <laughs> one just... said sheriff, so he was cooler. Yeah. Oh yeah, one somebody's gonna have a bad day. They looked like movie props. Like it was like straight up from the you know the Terminator scene where they're all in front of the uh, the building that gets blown up. Uh -huh. I kind of got the vibe that it might not actually be the police, and someone just wrote police on the side of it. Cause. Yeah, yeah, they got. They have to put though. stickers on it when they're if it is like a movie car. Yeah, I mean they do get all the military but. like surplus stuff. No, it had exempt plates. I think. I think it was. Oh, did it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You notice the gun ports too? Yeah. They, yeah. Like, why do they have all these gun ports in these things? <laughs> to shoot, shoot, to shoot people. people. <laughs> yeah. Get out and yeah. do it face to face. Stop hiding. I was trying to think of vehicle. something else that would be like to shoot uh, things. I was like, no, it's people. People. It's, that's that's the only thing they'd be shooting yeah. at. Like, the, like break open a lock on it. Oh, the, the, this door is locked. Let's shoot the lock off. Dude, you know, if they were actually worried <laughs> about people's the safety, they would, the they, would, they would ground the new Boeing plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't another one crash land? Yeah. Uh, I, so, like, a couple, like, it depends when you watch uh, this well, thing. Well, you're the person who knows. Yeah. So, there's the United 777 that took off from SFO. Yeah. And the 
wheel falls oh, off. The wheel. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? It's like it, the thing weighs like a thousand pounds. It crushed a car, I think. But the, 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 uh, the next day, there was, was like another the thing, United. Like, what I love about the yeah. AI image generation is just yeah. like plain wheel falling on <laughs> children's playground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just making wheels crushing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but then there was another United uh, 737. I it had some kind of like railway issue. I don't know what was with this one. I think it may have been like a rudder failure on landing or something. Hmm. It was still on the ground. It was fine. And then there was another United one just a day ago that rolled to the gate and the belly fairing around there. There was like these cam locks that were still like on there. <sighs> But the panel was missing, and, they, and oh. the ground crew noticed it when the plane rolled back. Is this the, the game. same plane, or is this a like different plane? It is different yeah. models. And, and yeah, it's the weird thing is like people hear you know Boeing seven thirty seven like oh, it's not all the seven thirty sevens, and then most of these are actually doing are due to mechanical failures. Yeah, it's like sell. It's like getting a car from a dealership. You drive it a thousand miles or hundred thousand miles, and next thing you know you know your lug nuts fall off. It was right. the guy who did your wheels and tires. Where it's actually just maintain it, so it's not entirely Boeing's fault. Although I am curious about Boeing because now you heard the whistleblower stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 Command yeah. suicide. It's like he literally said a few days ago. He's like, if I if, if I suicide myself, I didn't do it myself. So here we got some more. That's Boeing exactly stuff what you would, would say. What you want to just do? Like, I would like, actually kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> to create just a big more issue out of it. Epic troll. Really funny. I was reading that the like the crash rate is like three times more than the the planes below uh, it the crash rate is three times more than the takeoff rate yeah it's, they, 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 <laughs> Every plane that takes honestly off though i up. think that's good right is that good to crash before you take off i think so the it was like three million uh it was like one crash per like million flights or something like that or something crazy and then this was like three the new plane what is it what is the new plane oh the 737 737 max, yeah. max is like three million yeah and it's kind of weird th- like in my opinion it was like three times higher because it's like right? it's a proven airframe they just keep making it longer that's it that's it it just keeps getting longer well they should and do they, they should put bigger engines on what it if too. they just like did it like a train i really like the that. planes train. were like well, you watch the long train? video it was literally 737 i stretched and made longer and longer <laughs> the funny thing about that is uh that 737 no, train got, plane not long plane oh, well we did long plane but train plane's coming out train plane it's actually doing really train well <laughs> there's yeah. A, there was like a Venn diagram of train people and plane people who are actually gonna bust when they watch yeah, it. Like, oh. <laughs> do you know what I do not understand? Hmm. I made a four Math? second Instagram clip, <laughs> and I I just looked at the the metrics today. I'm gonna read them because it's really funny. Because like I don't understand how this is possible or if something's wrong here or not. I might do this. Probably not. I mean, maybe. I, do this. I bet you your analytics are right. Yeah, let's take a look. Okay. What do you got? So. <laughs> Go to insights. Yeah. And Ooh, uh, that doing 20, numbers. It, it only saw from it only got engagement from twenty five thousand of my followers, but one point nine million non followers. I think Whoa. that's how it has to work yeah. for it to like blow so up. So yeah. the the clip is five seconds and the watch time right now is two hundred two thousand seven hundred and ninety one hours, thirty four minutes. Yeah, collectively. In total. Collectively, yeah. 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 This is like what no, I How think it's just. This? I think it's just a reel that's doing well. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. He's <laughs> like, what? Why do the numbers have six digits and not three? <laughs> except no, except not the money that. one. <laughs> <laughs> why is there seven numbers here? It's too many. I mean, it's a good indicator that the, the uh, train plane video should do pretty well. Yeah, so. no, I think I think your reel is just doing really well. As Peter. long as I don't pick a crappy thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the saddest fucking thing? Yeah, it's like you know, you you're, you're, you sort of have the feelings like, oh, this could be banger content. I hope I don't fuck it up by taking a bad picture of it. I know. Oh. It's my least favorite part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's I think uh, like that's that's just good content. You want it to come from like mostly non followers. That means like mm. people who don't even know who you are. are like, oh, that's that's a cool thing. I'm gonna look at it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to monetize it though on yeah. Reels, other than there you can you can monetize Reels, but it's like a little bit of a thing. And also, I don't think you would make more than like a few dollars off oh, of this. <laughs> no, I, I think the way people make money on TikTok is like sponsorships. Yeah, it's all sponsors. Yeah. Like the ad revenue is like actually a joke. Like I mean, it's yeah. like it's so bad. Nobody makes jokes about YouTube ad revenue. Like yeah. no one ever does exposés on 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 it at all. Like no. it's fun to make fun of Twitter. It's fun to make fun of Instagram and TikTok. Um, yeah, and we give them like fifty five percent of like overall oh yeah, earnings. They take a lot. They yeah. take a lot, and still nobody complains because they're like, "Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. I'm not fighting for more because no. it's good. it's totally reasonable. Like, you yeah. can you can absolutely run a YouTube channel on just ad revenue mm-hmm. and pay your bills without even having like an enormous channel. Um, but uh, on TikTok, like I remember, 
years ago, uh, we were at Playlist Live in Florida right before COVID. Okay. And I sat on a golf cart with Addison Ray's dad. I didn't know who it was. I was like, oh, what do you what do you do? And he's like, oh, my daughter is this person. I was like, oh, like, cool. Um, I don't really give a shit, but cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how do you guys make money on TikTok? Like, how does that work? You know? And he was just like, oh, like, it's all sponsored stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's like you have the platform to get people to watch it. It, then, I mean, it's pretty. It's it, it makes me feel like I'm stupid sometimes because, like, when you when you look at people who do sponsorships on TikTok, like the sponsor rate, like for a one minute long thing versus like the sponsor rate for like a 15 minute long YouTube video, yeah. the ratio. It's not like more, but the ratio of like effort to pay is like yeah. like. Wow, we should just be making sponsored short content yeah. all the time and yeah. never make long form videos. <laughs> yeah, and no, I agree with that. <laughs> I did. I definitely did one where I the efficiency of making yeah. it was like making a rubber paw print of my cat, mm-hmm. so I could like stamp stuff with it. And uh, it was sponsored. Actually, it was sponsored by the laptop that I use now. I, I just kept it. I was supposed to send it back. And I did. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it did, the video did well, so I don't think they complained. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was like. I did it in like a, a, a couple hours. Yeah. And, it's and like you're done in a day. Yeah. And it, it was and like you're making like a significant percentage of like the sponsor rate for a full video that would take you like two months. Actually be like probably 10 to 20 times more efficient. Yeah. Than like YouTube. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's we're not smart. No. Nobody sitting here is smart except for Tamara. I I'm guess. smart. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the only reason it works is you sort of do things that are interesting to you and then pray to God that everything else works. <laughs> is it working? <laughs> this podcast just barely pays for itself, by the way. <laughs> okay, wait, you might be smarter than me. My podcast doesn't pay for itself. <laughs> No, we're just incessant. All we know how to do is just keep working. Keep going. <laughs> Don't stop. Yeah. Just not even if the cleaning ladies are knocking at the door. Never stop. <laughs> never oh, she has stop. a gun now. <laughs> never stop. That was like an hour ago. <laughs> uh, where are we at, Corey? We're at an hour and seven. All right. We should uh, get out of the cleaning yeah. ladies' hair. Is anything you want to promote? Yeah. Tell, uh, us tell us about your podcast. Tell us about your podcast. Yeah, yeah. Right sure. Like, yeah, so, what you got? Yeah. So there's... Uh, Can this- I be on your podcast? It is a female makers <laughs> podcast. Get fucked, Whoa. Get but if Get you would fucked. like to be, you could wear a dress. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, wow, so, uh, Kevin got fucking shot down. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Wreck. <laughs> no, it's like it's like when I uh, when I was at Maker Central and I was talking to Ruth and I was like, "Do you want to be on my podcast?" And like, Chad's like, "Can I be on it?" And I was like. No, oh, yeah, only, no, Amos. yeah, they no, only, from Kids only, and only Ruth can be on it. <laughs> Her shirt is very cool. Um, but yeah, so uh, the podcast is Tinkering Bells. Uh, it's an all female makers Tinkering podcast. Bell. We talk about making uh, intermixed with some female stuff, but it's mostly talking about legit making. Um, and then I've got uh, the comic uh, Seekers of Science, which we tackle real world problems with real world scientists and have fun DIYs. And I'm launching. What do you mean by comic? It's a comic. It's a like twenty-page bo- actual comic. You have book. a comic book. Yeah, it's available on Amazon and Kindle. How do you not know that? I'm, All right, we'll I put an affiliate link to it down below. Clarification: Because we're on a podcast, <laughs> and uh, uh, the people listening probably want more context yeah. and to know that they can buy it off of Amazon. Yeah, you can buy it on Amazon <laughs> and Kindle. Secrets of Science. Thank you. Alan is a better pitch person for my products. <laughs> This is why I don't sell any comics. You were so insulted. Like, what do you you know that I have a comic? Oh, I was like, book. You've like, seen I it. do know you have a comic. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and I'm launching a kid series uh, called Tinkering T Rex, which will be a maker series that follows some dinosaurs along, and there'll be builds in each book. It's about a dinosaur who has trouble not wetting the bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bed. tinkling, it's tinkering. Oh. Tinkering. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do tinkling and, tea and your second channel should be everyone poops and you yeah. do cooking shows. I'm gonna release everyone tinkling T Rex in <laughs> Japan. Yeah. And it's gonna yeah. sound exact. Tinkering T Rex. Yeah, you, you <laughs> <laughs> okay, Uncle exact. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he taught us how to do the accent. Oh, we can no. do it now. <laughs> yeah, Wait, do I, it. I, I don't even remember how to do it. I can do it, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. (laughs) (laughs) 